your local weather with the KX Storm Team. So this is our fourth grade at Garden Valley Elementary School. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? Oh, always so nice to get them on TV from Williston. Nice job. And the weather, especially in Williston, 80 degrees today. Wow. Now we're getting a few more clouds over Minot right now than we had even last hour. It's 79 degrees. The wind's out of the west at 20 miles an hour. Humidity 21%. And in Williston, it went from 80, now down to 78. And 27% uh, humidity in Williston. Now here are some of the other temperatures. And it hasn't cooled off in Bismarck yet. I think Bismarck topped out at 80. That's the biggest number I've seen and is still there. But everybody, even Rugby and Harvey, made it into the mid-70s today. So a real treat for everybody. It was a little bit windy. We have the red flag warning for the western part of the state. That'll be until 8 o'clock central time. And uh, wind speed right now still pretty blustery, uh, 10 to, to 20 mile an hour. And now the wind gusts have been closer to 20 to 30 miles an hour. The wind gusts will die down uh, before the actual wind speed. But I think by midnight we'll have a lot less wind. And, and when we uh, look at the precision cast, this is showing at 7 o'clock the chance of uh, maybe a couple of raindrops. I don't think we're talking about a big storm or anything in Williston. And not all the forecast models show that, but that possibility is there. And it's going to move through fairly quickly. So by even 10 o'clock, I mean, the sky may even clear out already after that. And then there might be a couple of sprinkles in the south central. But uh, the air is pretty dry. And so a lot of this is going to have trouble reaching the ground. And then overnight, you can see this here, and you're going to see just kind of a big green thing just kind of go across the screen quickly. Here we go, putting it in the morning. Notice how fast that was. So what that tells me is fast moving chance of rain during the overnight hours, probably while you're sleeping. So uh, especially it looks like from between the two highways, 2 and 94, that's where the highest odds are for the rain. So don't be surprised if you wake up tomorrow morning uh, and, and the ground's wet, but it's not going to be raining all day tomorrow. There might be a couple of sprinkles early in the day. And then throughout the day, it looks like a decent day. Now, the wind will start off in the west tomorrow, if that's important to you, any of your plans. It'll change to the north during the midday hours, and uh, it's going to be breezy tomorrow, but not like today. So here we are at noon, and then by 7 o'clock, see how it's painting a couple little green spots there? That just tells me it might be a convective shower. Doubt it, but the possibility is there. And it might be relatively cloudy by 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Once we get into tomorrow night into Easter Sunday morning, and this is after midnight, uh, it looks like another disturbance will be in the southwestern part of the state. Most of this rain is going to stay from I-94 to the south, and most of it is going to be out of here fairly quickly during the day on Sunday. There may be some spots to get a good soaking rain out of this, but it's 7 o'clock, and then by 9 or 10, it's out of there, so it's not like it's going to be a washout Easter Sunday. And then uh, Sunday evening at 7 o'clock with that northerly breeze and the sky may clear out again. Now the wind forecast tomorrow morning, roughly 5 to 10 miles an hour, at least early in the day. It is going to pick up some, probably 10 to 15 mile an hour by noon. And notice how it's changed direction now out of the north. And then all afternoon long, somewhere around 15 to maybe 20 miles an hour. Now the next 72 hours for Dickinson have uh, some mild temperatures continuing, chance of rain, about a 40% chance of rain overnight tonight around Williston and temperatures remaining in the 60s. Now, the forecast lows tonight should be in the mid-40s, and this is one of the warmer nights we've had in a long, long time. Uh, this, we've had daytime highs not this uh, warm not too long ago, and then daytime highs tomorrow will be in the 60s to maybe some 70s in the south. That cold front's going to knock the temperatures back a little bit, but it's not going to be a, a real cold, cold front anyway. As we take a look at the next seven days, here we are. You see that chance of rain on Saturday. Easter Sunday looks pretty nice, and then next week we're back into the 60s to around 70 degrees.